The Battle of Foy took place between December 20, 1944 and January 1945. The battle saw Foy change hands four times, with the Americans ultimately recapturing the town from the Germans. On the 20th of December 1944, during the German Ardennes Offensive, the 2nd SS Panzer Division das Reich took the town of Foy from the 1st Battalion, US 506 Parachute Infantry Regiment, 101st Airborne Division, suffering heavy losses in the process. 500 to 1,000 German troops and 30 tanks were lost, while 199 US soldiers and 13 officers were lost. The American paratroopers, including Easy Company, counterattacked on the 9th of January 1945 with assistance from artillery, and they repelled a counterattack at 4.15 a.m. on the 14th. The Germans later sent in 14 tanks and a whole battalion to retake the town, and they succeeded. However, the Americans counterattacked at 9.30 a.m. and they suffered significant losses due to the lack of cover in the open and snowy fields and during the house-to-house -house fighting. The Americans were eventually able to retake the town with the help of the 11th Armored Division and the Germans were forced back one last time, leaving the town in American hands. To visit the foxholes, we had to drive through Foy. That right there is the Church of Foy. Oh, man. And take a look at this. You can still see all these bullet holes from the heavy fighting in this old house. We arrived on the famous location and it was time to explore. So here we are, right next to Foy and Bastogne, Belgium, and a very famous location. Behind me you can see the monument of the 101st Airborne Parachute Infantry Regiment 506 Company E. Of course, really uh, famous from the series Band of Brothers. So the forest you see behind, right there, behind the American flag, is a place where it all happened. I'm getting goosebumps right now. I've been here before, but it was many years ago, maybe only two times. For me, it's such an amazing experience to stand here again. Just look at all these names. The Eagle will always scream for our fallen brothers. John G. Julian, Donald B. Hoopler, Richard G. Hughes, Harold D. Webb, Warren H. Mugg, Alex M. Pencala, Harold G. Hayes, Johnny E. Schindel, Carl C. Savasco, Kenneth G. Webb, Francis G. Millett, A. P. Heron, Patrick H. Neal, and Eugene E. Jackson. And this is so nice to see people laying stones on this to pay their respect. You see that? And uh, just when we arrived here, I got recognized by one of my viewers, which was really cool. We had a talk and uh, he even offered us something to drink. That's really kind. So if you're watching this, it was nice meeting you. Look at these trees. Famous and iconic. And I'm here today with my good friend Alex. This is his first time being here. And what do you think? It feels so weird and amazing at the same time. Mm -hmm. There's so much history here. Yeah, just the forest behind you right there. That's where it all happened. Isn't that insane to think about? If you're, if you're looking at the scenes from Band of Brothers, yeah. the artillery, and 
running over the field. So it's all in this environment. That's so crazy if you just close your eyes and think about that. And uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going that way. And we're going to take a closer look at the foxholes over there. Yep. Because over there are the original foxholes of the Easy Company. And it's so insane to just stand here and think about what happened here. So many lives were lost. It just makes you silent. And that's something that you see really often on um, places like this. Really famous locations. People touring around in original Willys Jeeps. I How got cool it on that? tape. Yeah, me too. That's really cool. <laughs> and this is the second viewer of my channel. <laughs> yeah. We just met someone else as well and um, this is the second one. So yeah. uh, I recognize you seeing them making the drone shots. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, that's so awesome. About the monument. It's so awesome yeah. to just meet viewers on locations like this. It I mean, this is, this is amazing. That's really cool. Right. So you're having a, some kind of trip here? Or, uh? I'm guiding. They, okay. People pay me to guide. I give information about the area. All right. So far, this and I was giving information about the monument. That's and really now cool. we're moving back to the Best One War Museum and I'll right. guide there. Yeah, I saw a new monument over there as yeah, well. I mean, one. that's not too old, is it? No, it's not. It's two years ago, maybe. Okay, now? because I can remember that I was here many years ago and it's, there was nothing over there. So. No, it's not. But it's really cool. We're it's going not. that way as well, so it's yeah. pretty awesome. So it's nice to see. It's a perfect day to uh It is. To really guide nice people weather. Around. It's a really nice weather. That's really if nice. You people watch this video, make sure you visit this in December. It's always this huge event in Bastogne. Yeah. So uh, make sure you do that. Yeah, that's... And take a look out for uh, next to the road. You can al always find like a uh, nine millimeters somehow. Really? Yeah, I always find patterns. Probably oh, from yeah. people metal detecting around probably, here, probably. leaving behind. Yeah, oh, that's All interesting. Right. Well, yeah, uh, it was nice meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we are now walking to the next location. The guy that we uh, just met was was pretty cool, right? Yep. I mean, it's so <laughs> awesome to to just meet your viewers, especially in locations like like this. It's so so amazing. And uh, it's really, really awesome that they are giving um, trips right here, learning people about the environment and the stuff that happened here. So like I said, what we're doing right now is we go to the monument over there and he just told us that it's maybe two years old. And that's why I couldn't remember that monument because I, uh, I was there many years ago and there was nothing there. So um, the monument is brand new. Yeah, it's brand new. So. We are gonna see it for the first time. And as you can see, we are walking on the side of the road right now. And on the right, you can see the famous pine trees. And there is the location where we are going right now. So it's time to enter the forest. Let's go. This is the location, guys. And it's always so special to walk in a forest like this because it's always so silent because of all the needles on the ground. You know, when, when there's a lot of snow outside and you walk, everything is so silent. That's exactly the same right now. Walking around here is, I don't know, something you cannot describe until you are actually here. This is so insane. Where you are sitting right now, that's an original foxhole from Easy Company. And it's pretty hard to see on camera always, but if I go like this, you can actually see that it's a foxhole. And it's not that deep anymore because of course after all those years all the needles falling in there branches and stuff yeah but something like this is is so, so look at this yeah you're just sitting in the same and if you look to the top of the trees that's what they saw yeah the same thing it's exactly the same thing just imagine on the spot where you're sitting right now a soldier was sitting on the exact same spot digging his foxhole just jumping into his foxhole when artillery barrage was just coming it's it's un unbelievable it's so peaceful right now here but back then it's just you cannot imagine how scary it was so 
the weird thing for me is that everything is still the same. Yeah. Well, the trees are younger, of course. The trees we're seeing right here. Most, yeah, yeah. most trees, are, of course, exploded as well because yeah. of the, the artillery and stuff. But the ground... But the, the ground, everything is the same. The stones that you find here witnessed the war. Yeah. An original Easy Company, Foxhole. And you cannot get it more original than a pine cone out of a Foxhole from Easy Company. So this is gonna be a keeper. We are now walking to the monument. But just look at this. This is so special to walk around here, searching for foxholes. This is an old tree right there. See that? These trees are older. Definitely older. Oh, look at that. I found a beautiful foxhole. Look at this, wow. There's another one right there. These are real foxholes. These are still pretty deep. And I can see cars over there, so that's where the monument is. An original foxhole from the 506. Let's sit down in the foxhole and just think about what happened here. This is so insane. And right next to me, you can see remains of an old tree. So this foxhole was made right next to a tree, which is of course really smart for cover. You see that really often. And this wood right here witnessed the war. Let's take a look at this foxhole here. Oh, there's another one right there. Wow. Look at this. It's a pretty big one. And then we have another one right here. Plants are growing in it, but you still see it. It's a pretty big foxhole. So here's the new monument. Let's take a closer look. Wow, is that a hand painted rock right there? Yeah, it is. Ah, they have surveillance here, which is also pretty good. Danger and the rest I cannot read. That's a beautiful foxhole. Oh, and there are many foxholes here. See that, guys? These are real 506 foxholes. Look at these three right next to each other. And there are so much more. Look at this. <laughs> this is this is priceless to walk around here. It's just so amazing to see that they are all still here. You see the shape oval shape. There's a smaller one right there. Look at this. Right next to the road. Look. People have been detecting here. Definitely. See that hole? This is what they threw out. I mean, it's not even allowed to detect here. But when you detect, which is not allowed, please cover up your holes. Look at this big foxhole right here. Right next to this road. Another foxhole right there. Look at that. Wow. Whoa. This is huge. This is just, oh my God. There are many foxholes in this area. This is the view that they had while sitting in this foxhole. More over there. It really just makes you silent. I see this right here, the wall, this foxhole. And I was thinking about what if we just take a small stone from this foxhole, just a small and tiny stone. That would be really, really amazing. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. This stone, this small stone witnessed the digging of this foxhole the battle that took place. The soldiers talking. This is a really special small stone.
This is the location where Dick Winters had his foxhole. They are growing trees in this location and cutting them down all the time. So it's a real shame that we cannot see the original foxhole anymore. There are so much more foxholes here. And uh, of course we're missing a lot of locations and foxholes, but uh, we do not really have a lot of time, so that's why. This reminds me of the scene of Band of Brothers, that the night changes to the day. And then you can hear all the tanks. Another one right here. This one is a little bigger. It's more like a small trench. But everywhere on the side of the road. Wow, look at this. That's a really small one. That's cool. Bigger one. Another one right there. They are literally everywhere. Right there. Right there on the side. Right here is another one. Now it's time for us to go to the next location. And here we are. We are in Bastogne itself right now. And of course we have to wear a mask. We were thinking about visiting the museum, but it's almost closing time. Mm -hmm. So we're not gonna do that right now. We're just walking through Bastogne, taking a look. There should be a tank over there, so. So here we are, a Sherman tank. This tank knocked out in December 44, recalls the sacrifice of all the fighters for the liberation of Bastogne in Belgium. So it was knocked out, 11th Armored Division. See that 50 cal machine gun up there? Taking a look at the back of the Sherman, you can see right here, that's been knocked out right there. This is insane, look at this. Another hole right here, see? And they've put this in it so you cannot throw stuff in it, probably. It's really cool. Take a look at an original Sherman. That's amazing. Isn't she beautiful? She fought proudly for her country. And she's still standing here proud. All right, that was a really cool trip. I really enjoyed it and um, I really hope you did too. There are a lot more things to see in that area, but like I said, um, we didn't have enough time, so. Uh, but I'm sure we will go back there again. So I was together with my good friend Alex. Be sure to check the link in the description to his channel. Also, I recently started a second YouTube channel and it's a gaming channel. So sometimes when I'm free, uh, I play games. So if you would like to see that, be sure to check the link in the description to my new gaming channel. It's also right here. As you can see, that's the name of my new gaming channel. I know, it's the same name but then gaming. So feel free to take a look and subscribe if you like. And now there is something really important that I have to say. We were exploring a German bunker and I made a shocking discovery. That's all I can say for now because we are still investigating, but that's... that's something that's really crazy so stay tuned for that video i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did like the video please leave a like and a comment if you have any questions feel free to ask and subscribe if you want to see more videos thanks for watching and have a nice day